You guys were probably so confused as to what was happening, probably thought I was crazy. It turns out I was sitting on my mic cable. Not my mic cable, my headphone cable. So the sound was dipping in and out. Uh, but I took a break for a second, I started doing stuff off camera, and then Kate talked to me. Something wrong? I don't know. You tell me. After Tommy stuck me with you, I was expecting to hate your guts. Not only because you agreed to pick up me contract, but because I was waiting for you to order me around like hired help. Now so far, you've been treating me like a friend. Hell, you've been damn near nice to me. Now I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but your kindness is starting to make me wonder. If there's anything I learned in the combat zone, it was that nobody does things for other people without expecting something in return. What exactly do you think I'm expecting in return? Who knows? Doing your laundry, taking a bullet for you, hauling your gear. What's the difference? I don't think I'm getting through to you. Let me explain what I mean, then maybe you'll understand where I'm coming from. I spent three years living at the combat zone. Smelled like puke and piss. But I called it home. I was making a few caps. Had me own bed to sleep in and three hot meals a day. Then the raiders took over the place. You know that lot. You aren't exactly what you'd call the gentle type. After they moved in, if you didn't keep looking over your shoulder, you were liable to get sucker punched or robbed. Or worse. Didn't take me long to learn that I had to put my hard-earned caps to good use. Buying friends was essential to making life easy. So, I guess I'm waiting for you to hand me a bill. You know what I mean? You don't owe me a thing. Now I'm having a real hard time believing that. I'll tell you what. Give me some time and I'll think of something I can do to repay you. I'm not a rich girl, but I'm sure we can agree on something. After all, what are friends for? Security breach neutralized. Visitors may now come and go as they please. All employees, please return to work. Did the power of friendship just make the security breach deactivate? Hey, hey. Uh, but, anyway, I was sitting on my headphone cable, it's causing the sound to dip in and out, and I thought the sound was... I blamed True Storms, but it wasn't, I... I don't know why I didn't expect that, um... But I was sitting, I was sitting on the cable, and I thought the sound was dipping out, and I thought it was because of True Storms, but it wasn't. I updated it anyway, it was in a... It was in an old version, uh, so that just gave me an excuse to update it. I think it's fine, because the game hasn't crapped itself yet. What's this place? Place? Log. Uh, what does that say? Given's Log, May 3rd. It's getting more and more difficult, but we were able to get a hold of a few more books today. While I was scanning them in, I overheard Dalen telling Shelby that we should just compress the archives now and get out of here. I thought about smacking him upside his head, but I don't blame him for wanting to cut and run. It's been tough, and we've lost so many, but it's all worth it, right? I mean, if we don't protect the knowledge stored on these machines, who will? I told them they could leave whenever they wanted to. I'm not going to force them to stay. If they don't believe in what we're doing here, then it's better if they just get out of our way. If we don't collect everything, then what's the point? What is- what are you saying? We've lost a few more, including Shelby. She will be missed, but I know she wouldn't have had it any other way. What we're doing here is important. There are still a lot of books left. This knowledge will help all future generations. It's up to us to keep pressing on. I can't keep the bots repaired anymore. The mutants are hitting us at least once a day. Unless we get help, it's only a matter of time before they wipe us out completely. This may be the last log I write. If it is, all I ask is that the person reading this does the right thing. Help us protect the information stored in the computers in the data room. The key to the storage room is behind this terminal. There's some supplies you may find useful there. Please, only use them if you are going to further our cause. Data room... Storage room. Hmm. Is it an unmarked objective? Oh, there's a data room. 
Oh, well, there's Givens. Well, he's not using it anymore. There's a bobblehead. It takes the smartest individuals to realize there's always more to learn. Oh, wait. The storage? Yeah, storage. Oh. Oh, there's good stuff in here. Uh, Alright, so I, I, f I found out why Piper wasn't using the 10mm that I gave her for the same reason that Kate wasn't using up shotgun shells when I gave her shotgun shells. It was because I didn't give her 10mm ammo, and the wiki was nice enough to say that even if you give a companion a gun that uses the same ammo that their default weapon has, they will still not use it unless- it got dark. It was bright when I got in here, I just realized. Um, but yeah- wait, is there another way out? But yeah, I just need to give her some 10mm ammo, I'll do that later. I kind of cleaned this place out a little bit, off camera. I was gonna do more, but I keep I keep forgetting. And what are all these duelist combat armor chest pieces? There's so much legendary stuff that I found. All right, well, I have like three mini guns on me anyway. Oh wait, I forgot I actually need bones. So I want to make a wait. Is that? Is that actually a bone? Skullcap bone? Yeah. Oh, two bones, okay. I forgot I actually needed that because I wanted to make an extra claw for uh, the death claw hand. And usually super mutants, for some reason, just carry bones with them. There are so many dead super mutants in here and I don't remember why. There's, there was a, there a, lot of, a lot of stuff happened in here. Protectron just immediately got pissed off. I don't even know what I did. Yeah, if it's two bones, we can get two bones from somewhere else. Pe people sell stuff with bones in them. This is when I regret getting dead body collision. Also, there was a bobblehead that I missed on top of Trinity Tower. Hopefully I can use the elevator or something. I want to get lead belly later but only so I can actually eat food. Because everything has rats except for the things that I cook, so unless I cook it, then I can't eat it. If I don't want a small amount of rats. And, and, and I know taking five rats doesn't sound like much, but I, but let's, I'll be honest with you, when I played New Vegas for the first time, I spent 100 caps on getting rid of one pointer of rats, so. I forgot Travis actually tells us news. There are a bunch of buildings that I'm encountering. I'm trying to remember if they actually have anything tied to them. I remember the Boston Public Library had a bobblehead. Gun for... Wait, what? Did you... what? 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 What is that for? You probably can't see it because perhaps it kills the overlay, but... I completed... It, it just said I completed 10 side quests. It, it just said I completed 10 side quests. I got that achievement, I got that achievement just now, that makes no sense. If you can't see me, then don't... Don't do that. Nothing there now. Should've shot him. 
I mean, if you want to say that. <laughs> he fell out. Oh, no, never mind. There's his head. Is Strong just walking around? Oh, no. Trinity Tower's right there. Hi, Strong. Please don't shoot Strong. I will have to shoot you. Are you okay? Right, I'm going back up here so I can, uh... Get the bobblehead. It was, it was in the jail cell. I even saw a video reminding me of that. And... I still forgot to use it. I still forgot to get it, I mean. This is like, I think, the tallest building in the Commonwealth. If it's not the Mass Fusion building. I can't remember. I'm, try I'm, I'm not exactly trying to try hard this game as much as I do in terms of game knowledge as much as I did with uh, GTA 5 but I thought it was tripping blood but um I, I want to know about it there's so many side quests still to do so it's, it's a lot easier to go through this thing without things shooting at me Especially super mutants and ones with mini guns, were just not nice. That works. That works real well. This top floor. What? Who's oh my god! All right, that that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about your ears, but that scared the crap out of me. What just happened to your stance? All right. How much does that weigh? Oh wait, I can... No, I can't. Oh, well, I only have a point left of carry weight, so... I mean, I should... What is that place? Oh, it's Diamond City. It, it just... It just... From here, it just looks like a... Miniature... Well, a... What is, what is it called? A diorama. It's weird how render distance works. Kind of wish it could be higher, but what are you going to do about logs? This was the, which one was Fist? He was the one that I relentlessly shot, relentlessly shot at. There you are. Yes. They're not dolls. It's important to do business up close and personal. All right. Okay. Gentlewoman, lo, you here she comes. These is her very guise, and upon my life, fast asleep. Observe her. Stand close. Doctor, what is it she does now? Look how she rubs her hands. Gentlewoman, it is an accustomed action with her to seem thus washing her hands. Doctor, you see, her eyes are open. Gentlewoman, and by their sins is shut. Lady Macbeth, yet here's a spot. Out, damn spot. Out, I say. Who would have thought the old man to have so much blood in him? Doctor, did you mark that? Lady Macbeth, the Thane of Fife, had a wife. And where is she now? What will these hands ne'er be clean? Gentlewoman, she has spoke what she has should not. I am sure of that. To bed, to bed. There's a knocking at the gate. What is done cannot be undone. I shall give her a drought to soothe her dreams. That must be the most Shakespeare I've ever read. I'm not kidding. And we all have to read Romeo and Juliet. Let's go there. I don't know why I'm going there, actually, because I have... Yeah, I don't know why I'm going there, because... I just said I have only a point left of health. Not a point left of health, a point left of carry weight. I mean, if it's not too late in the night, it's 10.52. Can't hey, to hold stuff. Time to trade a few things. Mm. Is he? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Wait, who said that? Um. Who's that behind me? Is that a mannequin? 
to, mm, okay. All right. And, uh, I'll let you I'll let you take them down. I'll, I'll let you take care of that. He, he seems to have it. Another victory for the brother. He, he seems to have it down. I love I love when unscripted things like that happen. Thank you. One percent chance of avoiding all damage from an attack. Like that's gonna happen. I think I only have two percent in that perk. How many bones is that? Wow, okay, that's like the brightest I've ever seen the pit boy. Oh, two bones, okay. Who's there? Um oh, he's talking to them. Aha, found you. Just let him clear that out. It's it's cool when unscripted things like that happen because then you get help from people that you didn't even think you would get help from. Yeah. And it's also I also have darker nights on. So you guys probably can't see a thing unless I do that. Where'd the night go? Alright. You appear to be in pain. Nope. Guys here still scaring me. I'm not used to I'm not used to if I'm not expecting to see someone in a cave that Oh yeah, I was I was wondering why they're losing dam why they're losing health slowly. I forgot this has bleeding damage. That's why I traded it. Tina Hopkins to Vivian Odell. Subject, now an English butler. I came into work today and found another stealth revision to the shooting script. Now the Shroud has an English butler. I keep telling Babowski that we need our core fans to be our evangelists, so we can't keep making these stupid little changes. You have to talk to him before you go on vacation, otherwise I swear I'm bringing it up to Pete. Subject, please help. I want to pull my hair out. Babowski has cast and signed a contract with Claire Reddle for the role of the Mistress of Mystery. I don't care how much the tomb of Amun-Ra grossed. The Mistress of Mystery is not a brunette, not blonde, brown, and definitely not a redhead. And have you heard Claire's voice? The Mistress of Mystery is confident, a match with her shroud at his best day, not some half-starved waif that's known for her shrill scream. Jeez, not some half-starved waif that's known for her shill screaming. Shannon Rivers has worked for us for decades. She is the voice of the mistress. She's the voice of the mistress of mystery and of story. She's even a natural brunette. She's not as young as Claire, but surely we can do something with lighting to help with that. If we don't fix this, I swear I'm walking. I won't have my name in the credits for this train wreck. Ah. From Aaron Babowski to Vivian Odell. Subject, reply, Mistress of Mystery Casting. Vi Vi, wow, relax. That, those are, that was the wrong eye, right? If it's that important to you, maybe we can put Claire in a, put Claire in a wig. But the contract is signed, so this is happening. What is it with you guys and Mrs. Rivers anyway? Maybe 20 years ago, but now she's got a face made for radio. Hmm. Am I right? Claire's got star power, and that's what we need. I talk with Petey Boy, and he, <laughs> and he's agreed to a couple new scenes. We need romance, and Claire's got the goods. If Tina can't roll with this, then I can fly in one of my boys from Hollywood. He's a class act. I got a full schedule today. Dress rehearsals until 8. This can't wait until you're back from the Bahamas. So if we have to meet, 8's my only window. Man, show business, huh?
So where's the, where's the costume? I want the costume. All I see is silver shroud, cardboard cutouts. Where is, what is, how big is this place? Quit shining those lights in me face. It's dark. Must have been nothing. Yeah, it's definitely too dark for me not to have this on. I don't know why I don't have my gun out. Right. Nice. I was I was just gonna let the bleeding damage do its job. Where's everyone? I don't even hear the knight anymore, but I know those ghouls didn't kill him. He has power armor. I know you can still die in power armor, but, you know. Alright. Rad roaches all the time. I think killing them in bats makes killing rad roaches a lot more satisfying. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. <laughs> that that wasn't okay. Oh wait, I don't want to remove that. <sighs> Death becomes you, draft 18. Fade in, title card, Adventures of the Silver Shroud, Q instrumental theme song, episode card, Death Becomes You, narrator, today's episode, Death Becomes You, and title sequence, title card, Boston 2077, exterior Boston street, night, newly shot footage of the Boston skyline at night, the full moon lights up the sky, the mass fusion building and Trinity Tower are clearly visible, oh, Trinity Tower is where I just was, uh, Pan down to street level, the hustle and bustle of Boston at night. Cars, people, etc. Interior, the rusty anchor pub, back room. A ceiling fan spins over a small car table. Three men and two women, all gangsters, sit quietly, contemplating their cars. A pile of chips sits in the middle of the table. This is clearly a high stakes back room card game. Bald Beatty, you're bluffing. Crazy Clara, glad you think so. Bald Beatty, okay, fine, I'm all in. Bald Beatty, pushes all of his chips into the middle of the table, making the pile even larger. Silver Shroud. Actually, you all fold. Everyone at the table looks around in a panic. Nobody knows where the voice came from, but they recognize the voice as being from the Silver Shroud. No, it can't be. Oh, but it can. The lights go out, and suddenly the room is illuminated only by the fire from the barrel of a machine gun. It's the Silver Shroud. He appeared, as if by nowhere, and has sprayed the room with bullets. In the flashes, the different gangsters can be seen falling over almost as if it's stop motion. The lights come back on. All of the gangsters lie dead. The silver shroud stands next to the table, machine gun smoking. He looks directly at the camera and speaks. Feeny five, death has come for you, and I am its shroud. Anyone came through here recently? They haven't left a trace in all this dust. Same thing? No, Evan Trichelli, to Aaron Rabowski. Subject, Claire can wait. I tried stalling her, but things are spiraling over here. Her agent was having dinner with Maxwell over the derby. Not good. Claire's still on board. She loves the script. She especially loves the outfit. You got the shots you got the shots of that, right? Yowza. I feel dirty saying the word Yowza. So I don't care what's going on over there. We need to sign her before we lose her to the wise man's or someone else. We looked into the Hopkins contract. It's ironclad. The only way she's out is if she walks. Her partner signed over his rights to Hubris, but she still has hers. If she even thinks of going to a lawyer, you gotta work your magic, Babo. Imagine if we needed her approval. From Vivian O'Dell to Aaron Babowski, mistress of mystery casting. It has come to my attention you've hired Claire Reddo for the role of mistress of mystery for the show. This is unacceptable. The mistress of mystery has an iconic look. She must be a brunette. The Mistress of Mystery is a strong female protagonist, not some damsel in distress. Shannon Rivers has voiced M.O.M. for years, and it's beloved in The Shroud and every other radio drama she's been a part of. I know we've had our differences, 
but this affects more than the Silver Shroud. The MOM and the Unstoppables are big brands. We almost, we absolutely must talk before I go on my vacation. From Peter Shiner to Aaron Babowski, MOM casting. Vivi got a hold of me before she left. I got the photos of Claire and she's dynamite. Love the alterations on the costume. It still feels like the comic, but more believable. So I'll back you there. But I'm with Vivi. MOM's a brunette, period. And her voice needs to be strong. Claire's voice isn't. Can we have Shannon dub over Claire and pose? That's the word, right? That would be the best of both worlds. I didn't... Oh, Tina Hopkins, Aaron Babowski. I quit. Effective immediately, I quit. You can explain to Petey how you lost the lead writer for the Silver Shroud. And after everything Shannon has put up with, if you want to fire her, do it yourself. Manticore's been waiting to hire me for years. Looks like your loss is theirs. Looks like your loss is their gain. Yeah, that's definitely show business. Oh, it's up here. Oh. I want that. Whoa, what are. Whoa. That one got me. That one got me. That one got me. That one got me. Whew. That one got me. I will say. I I'll admit, that one got me. Just like the one that started Dead Money, except I didn't, except I didn't admit it because I was too busy being mad at the game for jump scaring me like that. definitely got me. Okay. Yeah. I thought, I, thought, I thought the knight was standing there. I thought he took them all out. Wait, did the knight get, did the knight get killed? Or did he just leave before he got up here? Cause that would suck. Actually, I don't know why I'm still collecting everything because I... Hell yeah. Oh, two magazines. Plus five damage to the alien blaster. Five percent damage to the alien blaster. I just remembered I have my renewable source of caps at Sanctuary. And it's not a and it's not a glitch. Got it. Oh, the great mentats. For good things about those. Uh I have enough of those. I guess that's the roof. The Grognak costume. I was wondering where that was. Perfect. Increases the wearer's strength and melee damage. Is this a... Uh, is this a full body outfit? A crumpled fedora. Huh. Is this a full body outfit? Grog Knight's costume? I've heard about this. Oh well, I can't. Hang on. Well, I mean, if anything. But it, it does. It protects me more than my vault suit does, right? Wait. I could just want to put insulation in that thing. They're 5 and 10. And then this does a lot more. It's legendary too. There's a glowing one back there. What's all uh, this nonsense for? I don't know. There's something back there though. Oh, there's a dead glowing one. Excellent. It it's is it legendary or not? It seems to be a quest item as well, because I got it. I got some dampening coil that's apparently for the main quest line from Sawgis Ironworks. As long as no one spoils the quest line for me, if someone can tell me what the dampening coil does, then uh, I would appreciate it. Because now, now that I'm actually at a pivotal point in the main quest line. I'm gonna do a lot more 
the videos are going to be a lot more about exploring than they are about the main quest line. Or just side quests for the most part. I need something to do. Because I'll stop multiple times if I'm in a dungeon. What was that? I keep forgetting I have darker nights on. It's actually dark. Sure. Let's stand here in the open and wait to get shot. It's a person. Oh. Uh I guess he got I guess he got thrown from Wow. You have a bomber jacket? Oh my god, Kate. Is she fine? Kate. I think Kate's fine. She seems to be going back into the I'm scared now. <laughs> All right. I have two things a good neighbor. Okay. Not only do blood bugs suck the blood of their victims, but they will often shoot it back at them, causing distorted vision. Well, besides uh, general. Ow! Nothing in my eye. Okay. I got it. Wow. This place is a shite hole. And here, I thought it couldn't get any worse than the combat zone. Can I I've say got stuff a to you? Here for every situation: hunting, protection, cold-blooded murder, hot-blooded murder. I'll take a look. Sure. Let's get you outfitted, killer. Cleo, you scare me. How do I keep falling downstairs? I should probably hotkey the... No. I would hotkey it. Like, I was gonna hotkey the bandana, but I just remembered. How's my All you can do is equip it. Doing? You find out what's happened in a Pikmin gallery? How do I even start? You know why they called it the Pikmin gallery? No, that was the point of the whole job, remember? What are you trying to say? Let's just say Pikmin's art isn't going to have much resale value once all those bodies start decaying. <laughs> well, they say all artistic inspiration is ephemeral, am I right? Wish I could say that was the most twisted thing I've ever heard of, but it ranks up there. Top three. I'll put the word out. Tell people to stay clear of that area. Hiring you is definitely one of my better moments. Here, spend the money in good health. Well, I mean, as a mayor, he pays, he pays a lot. I didn't even read the thing that I picked up. I just remembered. A message to Jack. Is that it? Seth, it's me. I found out what happened to the scouts who went missing up near the old art gallery. They're, they're dead, Seth. I I'm looking at a, a goddamn painting of Cal's body. Oh, God. What the hell did I do to him? Who's that? Who the hell is there? Why would you? Admiring my collection. I'm afraid it's not complete yet. Soon, though. Stay away from me, you psycho! Don't you have a gun? Yes. Just like that. Hold that expression on your face. I'm trying to think of what other guy that was completely a psychopath sounded like that. I, he, it sounded like it could have been Brother Simon, but Brother Simon isn't Pikmin, now is he? Huh? Don't have no handouts. I didn't ask for one. Um, should I put on the costume, the Silver Shroud costume? I don't know. There's just no music in here, and that guy. Oh, I thought it was the same guy. Hi. I got your costume, Kent. And some other goodies you might like. Got there it. she is. Pretty as the posters. The Silver Shroud costume herself. And memorabilia, too? Here's something else. Together with my gun, everything's all set. Uh, what's the plan? Uh, what are you planning next? I'm still working that out. 
Some details I want to run by you. Well, after you give me the costume, that is. Um, okay. Here you go. After all these years, the Silver Shroud is born again. But there's just one problem. I'm just not Silver Shroud material. I could be Rhett Reinhardt, or, or his butler, Jarvey Blake. But the Shroud is strong, capable. Um... Who gets the suit? What happens to the suit? Oh, I have an idea who should wear it. You up for being the Silver Shroud? You already got your own origin story and everything. What with the cryo vault and all? I do. Uh, sure. Looks like I get to be the Shroud. Yay. <laughs> the costume and gun are yours. So you patrol good neighbor's streets, and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. Here Wait. Oh my god, that's amazing. Wait, that's amazing. Here's some calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows the Silver Shroud has returned. Time to fight crime! Wait a second. Wait a second, that thing's amazing. Hang on. It's legendary. Reduces damage from humans by 15%. I'm interested. Hmm. I, I know this clipping, but it's extra it's extra it's extra protection after all. I like this. And apparently upon level leveling to something like level four forty, I think. Not not four forty, jeez. Forty. Forty-five, actually. Uh, you get an upgrade for it or something. Is that, is that the next part of the quest? Listen to Silver Shroud Radio and Good Neighbor. Galaxy News Radio. God, no. That sounds like Fallout 3. When he no, wait. Slowly now. Reveal yourself. Silver Shroud. Fret not, old friend. It's only me. Mistress of Mystery, what brings you to Scully Square on such a foul night? Tracking our dear Mayor Murphy, who is up to some mischief. The Mayor? Calling all Silver Shroud fans. A once in a lifetime announcement. The Silver Shroud returns and he's gonna clean up the streets. Everyone heard how Wayne Delancey murdered Miss Selmy and her kid over a few lousy caps. Death is coming for you, Wayne. I guess I'm I guess I'm going there. Let's just take it off for a while and see what happens. What's up? What's with the fancy duds? Looks expensive. Might be I found a new friend. Speak a shroud. Your crimes have gone unpunished for too long. Oh what the hell's wrong with you? Well, nothing a few bullets won't cure. You mess with me. Fine, then. I was trying to roleplay. Hang on. Besides, Kate has a shotgun. All right, then. Every time I press left, every time I press left alt to try to actually. <sighs> every time, every time. Right, so who am I go? Oh my god, you had so much stuff on you. I'm I'm sorry that you died, but you know. I swear, every time I try to melee, I just end up throwing a grenade. That that's that went relatively well. Is the quest still going? Oh, okay. Is there still more stuff to do? Nothing happening. Oh, I was probably doing that thing that happens when you, uh... Here's a thing. 
Oh wait. A, a sort of a note, I guess. Um... It, it takes a while. Mm. It's not working. Wait. Now you want to load up? Great. Great. The Silver Shroud's dispatched justice already. Miss Selmy has been avenged. Shit, the Shroud off Wayne? Wait, so this guy's actually for real? Oh, you better believe it. So, Jerry, go on. Tell the listeners about what we're talking about. Right. So, AJ. Oh. I was supposed to listen to Good Neighbor, wasn't I? About that. <laughs> supposed to listen. Supposed to listen to Good Neighbor. I, I went out of Good Neighbor. You hear that? Sounds like the Silver Shroud has another bad guy to deal with. Uh, why? This Shroud guy. He's gonna muscle in on the chem trade now. No, he's gonna do something about it. AJ's selling the kids, and his chems have k killed people. And? I don't get it. Uh. We can't let AJ kill kids. Whatever. Galaxy! Galaxy! No, 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 no. It's gonna start, gonna start hearing three dog. Alright, who's this AJ? Oh, you're bad. Can't get enough looks of this lovely figure of mine. All right. We ain't the only friends of AJ here. You follow? We ain't the only friends. I got of AJ it. Here. Hey, you look follow? at the clown. This is my turf clown, and I don't appreciate what you call them trespasses. Selling comes to kids. You AJ? The dealer who sells to children? Yeah, that's me. I'm a entrepreneur. I'm making a new market. Chems for kids, I call it. Jesus. Jerry Christ. flavored jet, bubblegum mentats. Them Diamond City kids just eat them up. Peddling poison to kids, are we? Today you face the Silver Shroud! Uh. <laughs> who you say? Oh, for Christ's sake. Did Kent put you up to this? He keeps moaning about the poor little kids. What the hell, right? Tell you what. I'll pay you... Let's say 50 caps just to shut up about it. Nope. And, uh, maybe get Kent off my back. Alright? Nuh-uh. -uh. Stop selling to children, miscreant! Or face my wrath! Seems like you're making a lot of trouble for something that isn't our business. Screw yeah. you. Waste the freak. You just... <laughs> Alright, that didn't kill him. Oh, yes, it did. That's not V. That's not V. Yeah, they die quicker. Forgot about that. Oh, just die. You're gonna bleed out anyway. Oh, you have stuff on you, don't you? Special update. The villainous assassin Kendra was recently spotted at the third rail. The same Kendra who bombed little Joe Shack and killed four innocent drifters. If you want to see the Silver Shroud in action, stay near Whitechapel Charlie. The Shroud's sure to interrogate him to find the evildoer's whereabouts. Galaxy News Radio. I've 
a reputation with Whitechapel Charlie already for not taking his job of, you know, random murder. So I don't know how this is gonna go. Entertainments down the stairs. I know Kate's character is more than selfish like, so I don't know what I can and can't do. I know I have a little bit more freedom and I can ask for caps. But I mean I don't know. judgments, but ain't that a kid's show? Make way for paying customers. You look like one of them wankers from the posters. Where are they for? I'm looking for someone. Kendra. Kendra is not one to be trifled with. People associated with her have a habit of being found face down in a ditch. If you're set on meeting her, for a fee it can be arranged. <sighs> Kendra? Can you spare a few details on her at least? On the house? As murderers go, she's positively prolific. Something should say more. I thought that was a... Okay. Uh, f fine. Here's your money. Where is she? He's still going through, is this? She's got a flat outside the neighborhood. Yeah, for the blighters she's got with her. Nasty piece of business then. Good luck. I mean, this thing has a hundred bullets in it, and it's silver. And where's this flat? Oh, not that far. It's just gonna feel like a long time because of how long it takes to open the outside of Good Neighbor for some odd reason. It's not even frapped, it just takes that long. Oh yeah, why am I running? I get no frames over here. I can't run. Look, it takes a while to open up a computer and put RAM in, okay? See, this thing goes. Oh. Three bullets. Six bullets. That's pretty good. Of course, when I look at doors, I get more frames. It's like playing Skyrim on that low-rent PC that I had before. Oh, alright. I thought it was Kate that just got wasted. Well, it was Kate that just got wasted, but I thought she was the one who wasted him. I was gonna switch to I was gonna switch to the silver submachine gun, but she has a plasma rifle. You must be Kendra. And you, you're the crazy one in the costume. Wayne Delancey's killer. You have no idea who you're dealing with. I do so like it when the little bug crawls willingly into the spider's webs. Who's your boss? A walking corpse like you shouldn't trouble yourself about that. <laughs> Wanna say that again with feeling? Oh, wait. My my chems are glowing by the way because I got a mod that kind of makes them glow. It's a retexture, but it also makes them glow. So what exactly well I go back to listening to a good neighbor, right? To it in good neighbor, right? 
assassinate Shelly Tiller. Where's Shelly Tiller? Wait, Shelly Tiller's at County Crossing? That's not right. That's a settlement. Is it? I wonder if I've actually wasted a lot of bullets. Oh, now it's doing my favorite thing again, which is taking forever to load. Well, I'm going out back into this area. It's not even funny anymore. He's back. Wait, what? Fox is back. He's back. Yeah, man.